Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to do a quick unboxing and review of this portable mini DVD player. This is an all region DVD player. As you know, the normal branded DVD players comes with a region lock and you cannot play a multi-region DVD or a DVD which is specific to a region and locked so that kind of dvds you cannot play on any dvd player but this is a dvd player guys which is also portable made by mate this is a chinese branded dvd player this is unlocked for all regions so you can play any region locked dvd from any region of the world on this dvd player so if you are looking for a mini portable dvd player which can play all region dvds this is the thing for you guys so ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so before we can do the unboxing let's quickly see what is there on the top of the box as you can see this is a portable dvd player this is a very small form factor dvd player it is a top load type dvd player it comes in two color white and black the one i have here is in white color so this is a mini disc player lighter thinner strong compatibility and powerful as this can play a multi-region dvd let's see on the back what it has so on the back as you can see it's a help guide so it can play mp3, jpg, avi, mpg, mpg4, vob, flv and jpeg format videos. If you have a normal CD, it can play CD, DVD, DVD, minus R, plus R, DVD, read, write, CDR, CDRW, VCD and SVCD. So if you have any format of this kind of CD, you can play it on this DVD player. It reads the disc in less than 5 seconds. It can do an automatic error correction and also it comes with a noise cancellation. So whenever the DVD runs, it will make lesser noise. So it's a quiet player. That is what it means. Let's see on the sides what it has. On to the side, it says it has a built-in speaker, all-round sound. Package includes 60 days warranty and 30 days return policy. So this is super nice as well. So it gives you some kind of security as well so that if you do not like it, you can return it within 30 days. On the other side, as you can see, it gives you the components which is included inside. It has a USB port, AC cable, HD cable and AV cable. It's a region free DVD player so you can play any region DVD and you have a remote control included. That is what is there on one side. Let's see on to the other sides. On to the other side guys, as you can see, it gives the product specification. It connects with HD, AV and USB input. The product dimension is 6 cross 5.4.1.1 inches, which translate to 15.2, 13.7 and 2.8 centimeters. This is a very lightweight product, which is less than half kg as well, specifically 0.31 kg or 0.7 pounds. The material of this is made by plastic, which is ABS durable plastic. The processor is Sun Plus 7 generation SP core, 16G memory and driver is mini HD 588A. The inline voltage that it can take from is 100 volt to 240 volt. So you can use this player to connect it to your AC plug directly from anywhere in the world. So basically it is compatible around the world. Let's see on the other side. On the other side, it says that you can have a multi charging method. So you can power this using the wall adapter. You can use it the power bank and also the car charger to power it. So it is a low power device and you can use it anywhere you want. So that is what you have onto the top of the box. Let's quickly open this and see the contents inside. So let's quickly open it. So inside the box, when you first open, you will see the DVD player itself. So let's take this out and keep it aside for now. Let's see what else is there inside. So you have a power adapter. As you can see, it comes with a micro USB adapter. This is a 100 to 240 volt input, 0.3 ampere and output is 5 volt, 2000 milliampere. So this is what the charger looks like. It comes with included HDMI cable. It comes with its own remote control, which we'll look at later. 
it comes with an AV cable as well so just in case your TV supports an audio video input so it comes with an audio video jack and you have three uh, red white and yellow cable for left and right channel and video signal and then it comes with a small metal stand as well and lastly it comes with the user manual which comes with the instructions on how to operate it how to connect it and how to use this dvd player so if you want you can go through it so let's quickly see one by one each of these components so as i have told you before this comes with av cable one side is 3.5 mm jack which is going to be inserted onto the dvd player and then you can connect your audio video cable onto your display device to display the picture and sound so that is what it is used for so i'll keep this aside for now so the next thing inside is the user manual and troubleshoot guide so it comes with all the components and how to connect it and what are the ports and how to operate your remote control and things like that which is all there in this user manual in addition to that it also tells you how to change the mode ntsc to pal or automatic this is also supported and then if you do not have sounds and things like that it also tells you how to set up the picture how to troubleshoot and things like that so this is a good user manual which is there in english so you can go through it as well so this is a very useful guide if you guys want you can go through it i'll keep this aside for now so the next thing in the list is the hdmi cable so this is a full hdmi cable as you can see the ports here this is not 4k cable because your dvd player is not compatible to a 4k or upscaling 4k so this is just a full hd player so your dvds with full hd resolution will be played onto your television or monitor so which is why this is a full hd hdmi cable so that is included along with it this is also something really nice the next thing I told you to power it up, it uses a 5 volt 2000 milliampere AC adapter which takes an input from 100 to 240 volt. So it comes with a US plug where I purchase it from and the input power supply which is connected to your DVD player is a micro USB cable. So USB type A to micro USB that is the kind of cable which is being used for any wall charger so i think this is also going to be compatible with any of your phone chargers so if you have something lying around if this is broken you can use it as well this is also something really nice next thing that it comes in with is the remote control there is a white remote control made out of plastic this is a really beautiful uh, remote control as you can see this is really lightweight it is not included with the battery so you need to have two AAA 1.5 volt batteries to power this remote control so here you have power button mute button subtitles angle title copy repeat a and b region switch volume plus and minus menu return mode stop play forward back reverse next few buttons setup left and right channel balance so that is what you have onto the remote control as you can see this is really really slim remote control and lightweight so this is also included inside the package so that is what you have onto the remote control we'll keep this aside as well in the end you have your dvd player itself as you can see this is a very small form factor dvd player which is in white color let's quickly open this it comes with the tape open this like this we'll take this out so as you can see this is a white dvd player this is a top loading dvd player so you can open it from the top you have an eject button onto the top right here if you press it it will open the top latch and then you can place the dvd inside and then you can play so that is what you have you have a transparent cover you have a dvd motor on which the center part lies and you have a dvd lens which reads the dvd player so you need to ensure that you do not touch it so we'll close this for now on to the sides you can see you have mute stop next you have volume plus volume minus and also this duals the role for next and back you have an on off switch here this is a toggle slide switch you have a 
USB port here and you have an audio video port which is used to connect your audio video cable so that is what it is used for onto the back side you can see there is a branding and a speaker grill that is where the speaker is so it has an inbuilt speaker which can be used to hear the sound next it has model number the model number is MTD VD dash XTP power source is 5 volt DC 2 ampere minus is outside and plus is inside so that is kind of configuration you would need if you would want to replace the uh, power adapter just in case you want to use a dc power adapter to power this up and then you have a power consumption of 25 watt this is made in china so that is what it is on this side you have a dc powering on this side which is your micro usb dc in that is how you would by default be powering this portable DVD player and then you have an HDMI output port here onto the sides. Onto the other side there is nothing more. Onto the front side like I have told you before there is an eject button and there is an LCD panel that would be giving you the instructions and the status will be displayed onto this side. So that is pretty much what you have onto this DVD player. Now let's quickly connect it to the power brick and see how does it work. So guys, on this DVD player, I'm going to try to play this Street Hawk Classic Complete Series DVD that I have for now. As you can see, onto the back side, here you have the world icon. It says that it is locked to region 1. As you can see, the number 1 is written on here, onto the back side of this DVD. So you cannot play it on any DVD player which is not supported to region 1. So I have another DVD player from Sony which I have purchased long back. That one is locked to the region, which is why it is not able to play this DVD, which is why I purchased this portable all region free DVD player to play this DVD. So let's quickly put this DVD inside this DVD player and quickly play and see how does it work. So let's quickly power this up. To power this up, you need the micro USB cable. This has been connected to the adapter. So I will put the DC in onto the back and then also I will connect the HDMI which is connected onto my uh, monitor as well. So let's quickly connect this. So that is how it looks like. Let's quickly power this up. Your power button is here onto the side. It is right now on the off position. Let's, let me quickly turn this on. As soon as you turn it on, it will try to find the disc and it will load your movie. As of now, I have not put the CD as of now. So it will wait for some time and it will say that there is no disc. That is what it is displayed onto the top. Let's quickly put the disc inside the DVD player. We'll use the eject button from the side to eject it and place the DVD inside. And we'll close it. It will start loading the disk as you can see onto the side it says the load as well so it will start loading your disk as you can see the timer is turned on so let's quickly go onto the screen and see how does it look like so guys this is my lg curved monitor on which i have connected my dvd player so this is how it looks like when it is first booted up so you can see you have the boot logo or the main logo screen before we can start playing the dvd so as you can see this is made to dvd player it has a text support email id as well here onto the bottom and then it has a background so that is how it looks like whenever you first connect the dvd player onto your monitor just be sure that guys this is a classic so the video quality of this dvd is not going to be in par with the latest movies but that is what i wanted to check how does it look like so this is what i'm going to play so let's play so as you can see it has started booting up the dvd with the disclaimer instructions and warnings and claims and things like that. So your DVD is playable, which was not playable before onto my older DVD player. So that is how it looks like onto the screen. So as you can see, it's playing really nice. I can play the DVD, which is also something really nice. And the quality of video that I am seeing here onto the screen is also really nice. 
given the fact that this is a classic very old tv series it is still doing a good job of playing this dvd onto a high resolution screen it looks really nice and clean when you look at it from the distance it looks really really nice and crisp it still has a touch of that old classic TV series but it still looks really really nice so this is how it looks like and this is how it plays the DVD so this is it guys I really think this is a really nice all region DVD player which you should have if you would want to purchase this on budget this is one of the best and cheap portable DVD player for all region unlock that you can buy it in the market and you can enjoy any region DVD onto your big screen or TV screen whatever you have so this is really nice guys for me the video quality is really nice and the audio quality is good as well I can clearly hear the sound and the music and the background and the dialogues so it is super awesome so as you would have seen the video quality and the audio quality which is coming out of this mini portable dvd player is really awesome lastly but not least it also comes with this metal stand which you can use to hold the dvd player so that is what it is used for so this is a really portable stand that it comes with so all you need to do is put it like this and then you can put the DVD player onto the side so that your cable connection is coming from to the back or you can place it onto the top so that your cable connection is coming to the top so this is really a, your DVD player holder which you can place it as it is a portable DVD player so you can place it onto your table onto your desk and wherever you would like so this is how it looks like from the sides as you can see this is the stand it holds the DVD player as this is really lightweight DVD player so you can hold this DVD player using this stand and the angle section holds the DVD player really well so that it does not fall off and then you can put it and to an angle the way you would like your DVD player to set onto your desktop so that is what it is used for so this is it guys this concludes this video I hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below I will try and answer as soon as possible if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies